Hello and welcome to the British Dapper and today we're talking about the fabrics that goes into men's clothing. So recently one of my subscribers asked a simple question, what's my view on materials that are used in men's clothing? For example suits, jackets, trousers and uh, this is just a short video just to get my point across. I don't have any particular preference when it comes to materials. It comes down to what you can afford. Um, traditionalists uh, will obviously go for wool, 100% wool and flannel, um, mohair uh, combinations, cashmere wool and uh, exotic blends like that. Modern materials that are used have uh, been derived from in the 70s we saw the introduction of nylon and raylon um, which were attempts to make materials last longer. I think everybody that ever had a pair of uh, nylon socks will remember if you shuffled along a carpet which is also nylon back in the day you could actually build up enough static to touch somebody and give them an electric shock. Um, obviously in the 80s we then saw the introduction of polyester and that has uh, made significant changes to the clothing industry and reduced the costs of materials um, quite drastically actually. Now in my day I was a mountaineer and I remember when I first started off at 16 most people wore plus fours they were tweed like material they kept you warm but once they get wet they weren't very comfortable and uh, anoraks were made of uh, canvas material cotton um, which was okay until it got wet and then you had uh, a rubberized coating on the outside of that uh, introduced and uh, and that's all well and good, but in Manor and nowadays, materials have advanced so much and the technology behind them, so you've got stretchable fabrics, you've got um, breathable fabrics, and uh, you've got some that repel snow as well as rain. And all that technology now comes into modern menswear. So you can get a pair of jeans that have got um, elastic in them, latex, uh, spandex introduced into them so you get a little bit of stretch and a little bit of give and you find that in trousers as well as well as jackets. Uh, modern fabrics have advanced so much now you get stretched more in the jackets. Uh, polyester and other materials are used generally in suiting um, and jackets and trousers in an attempt to reduce the overall cost because you get a wool mixed with polyester or um, some other material as well and it uh, reduces the cost. Don't know if it um, changes the longevity of the item to be fair. Um, what I would say, ties is another example. I tend to wear a lot of t um, silk ties but every now and again you come across a polyester tie and actually does look really good. The patterns are crisp um, and uh, there's nothing wrong with wearing a polyester tie. I know the traditionalists would have me strung up in the car park and flogged as I say that but we have to live in the real world. If you can't afford a £4,000 suit, £5,000 suit, um, then likelihood is you're going to go for cheaper materials or cheaper labour in making that suit, which then means off the peg. And nowadays it's very difficult to find off the peg wear that is 100% wool. There's normally some other additive to that wool mix, that wool blend. So um, in short response to the subscriber that asked me the question 
whilst I prefer natural materials in my suits, my jackets and my trousers, um, it's becoming more and more difficult to find them within a purse range that most people can afford. So there is a little bit of compromise there, I think, that has to be struck. The purists that can afford it, and they can afford a £5,000 suit, a pair of socks for £200, uh, a tie for two or £300, a shirt for £100, um, then, yeah, all for it. If you can afford it, there's nothing wrong with that at all. The other end of the scale, if you're just starting out, and you're buying your first suit and you don't know if you're going to wear it very often then what I would say is get one that looks like it's good quality which looks and feels good on you and the most important thing is the cut and the fit so if it fits you across the shoulders it's good in the cuff length um, and it's not too tight and the length is right on it and you feel good wearing it that's the main thing. I hope this short video answers your question and uh, quite clearly my stance is very flexible when it comes to the materials used in uh, clothing. Um, whilst I prefer uh, fully uh, organic materials, uh, you know natural materials and fibres that's not always possible in this world. What I do tend to do is try and get a happy medium with price and also the materials used in it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did give us a thumbs up, uh, if you'd like to subscribe then please feel free to do so. Uh, if you want notifications then hit the bell. We love uh, constructive comments so if you'd like to put some, put them down below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. So until next time, take care.